Good morning, good morning, and happy Thursday to you. It is so great to be back here with you. I have been in the state of um, Indiana for a Christian Product Expo, which has been uh, just an amazing experience. We went with our Bible side notes um, in order to work with Christian bookstores and getting our Bible side notes in their stores. So if you are near a Christian bookstore and they are not currently carrying our Bible side notes, reach out, tell them that you would love to see the Bible side notes in their store and ask them to reach out to me or give me their name and phone number and I'll reach out to them because we would love to get our Bible side notes in a lot of the Christian bookstores all across the U.S. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get started today. So today is August 8th. And our scripture for today using the blessed method is Matthew 11 verses 28 and 29. And it says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. The L and the blessed method is listening for God's voice and praying. So please pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your promise of rest. Help us to come to you with all of our burdens and our weariness and teach us to learn from Jesus, to embrace all of his gentleness and his humility. And may we savor the peace and the rest that you offer and find true nourishment and refreshment for our souls in jesus name amen amen so the e in the blessed method is exploring the history and the meaning so jesus spoke these words during his ministry and he was inviting people to find true rest in him and in a culture where the religious leaders often placed very heavy burdens on the people jesus was offering a different way and he's using this image of a yoke, typically a symbol of a, of a burden that goes across two cattle to, to hold them in place. But it transforms that into a picture of a partnership with him. So this passage emphasizes Jesus' desire to give spiritual and emotional rest to those that follow him. So the studying the key words, the Key, first key word phrase that I came up with is come to me. And that's an invitation to approach, approach Jesus personally. We can come to him anytime we want. Weary and burdened. That's talking about our spiritual, our emotional, and even our physical exhaustion. And rest for our souls is topping, talking about that deep inner peace and refreshment that we get our rest for our souls. So to summarize this, the last S in the blessed method, this, this promise from Jesus is, is like this cool drink of water on a hot summer day. And it's a promise that we can savor. And it's like letting its sweetness refresh our weary souls. Life can be exhausting, right? Maybe you're carrying heavy burdens right now. Maybe they are worries about your health, finances, relationships. Perhaps you're just tired from that daily grind and feel worn out and overwhelmed. And if that's you, I want you to lean in close and really savor these words from Jesus. Come to me, he says. Isn't that beautiful? The God of the universe is inviting us to come to him, not when we've got everything figured out, not when we are at our best, but right in the middle of our weariness and our burdens. It's like he's patting the seat next to him and saying, come here, let's talk about what's weighing you down. And what does he promise when we come to him? Rest. Oh, I know I need rest, but not just the physical rest, though that's important too, but that deep down soul level rest, the kind of rest that brings peace to our anxious thoughts and calm to our troubled hearts. I just love how Jesus tells us to take his yoke and learn from him. Now, a, a yoke 
sounds like it's another, another heavy burden, right? That big old heavy yoke. But think of it this way. When you're yoked with Jesus, he's right there beside you. He's helping us carry that heavy load. And when we walk with him, we learn from his gentle and humble heart. And this promise is one that we can savor every single day. When we wake up and feel overwhelmed, we can just whisper, Jesus, I come to you. And when we're in the middle of a stressful day, we can pause and we can pray and we can say, Jesus, Lord, I need your rest. And when we lay down at night after an extremely hectic, busy day, we can thank him for helping to carry our burdens because it could have been way, way worse. So today I want you to take the time to savor this promise. Imagine Jesus inviting you to come to him, to nestle into his peace and to find his rest. Let's practice bringing our weariness, our burdens to him, trusting that he'll give us the rest we need so desperately. And always remember, this promise is for you. Whatever you're carrying, however tired you might be, Jesus is inviting you to come and find rest. And that is a promise that's worth savoring day after day after day. Amen? Amen. All right, our three cross-references for today are Psalms 55, 22, 1 Peter 5, 7, Philippians 4, 6 through 7. So the question I'd like to ask to you today is when you feel weary or burdened, what is one practical way that you can come to Jesus and experience his rest? I would love it if you would share your ideas below on what you do to find rest in Jesus. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I love it that you join me this early in the morning. It's so encouraging. Make sure that you comment down below that you're here or that you're watching this on replay and make sure you like the video as well. Thank you so much for joining me. I pray that you find rest today. Bye-bye. Have a blessed day.